In this video, I'll be showing how to load data onto good data via the REST API. Essentially, I'll be packaging together my project into a zip file and then using SIGWIN to upload the data. So in step number one, you want to start by loading your own project onto good data, as usual with the command line. And in this example, I'm using this basic project titled SPS underscore API, which has five facts associated with it. In step number two, you'll need to download and save the manifest as upload underscore info dot json, which can be found from the following URL. So I'm going to use a roundabout way to get to that. So I'm going to go to this URL, click metadata, there's my project name, LDM, single load interface, that SPSS, and there's the manifest. And so I'm just going to copy the contents of the file in the notepad plus plus and save it with a .json extension. And so in step number three, you'll need to prepare your original CSV file by changing the headers and respective data to match the manifest. In other words, the column name, which is found here on the manifest, needs to match the header in the CSV file, and the data associated with each header may need to be rearranged to match the order from the manifest as well. And you'll also need to rename the CSV file to match the file name in the manifest. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my CSV file. And I've already renamed it, as you can see here. And so I'm just going to verify that the headers match. So API 99 growth. API 99 growth, API 00, DNUM, SNUM, API 0, DNUM. So I need to rearrange DNUM and API 00. So let me go and open this up in Excel. That'll be easier to edit. Save that. And I'll go ahead and open back up the CSV file. Just double check one last time. 99 growth DNUM 00 SNUM. 99 growth DNUM 00 SNUM. All right, perfect. So next, we'll need to package these two files, upload underscore info.json and the CSV into a zip file named upload.zip. And I've actually already done that. Let me just go ahead and upload the new files here. And so now I'm going to use SIGWIN to run the following command to create a new directory in WebDAV. So I'm going to go ahead and open up SIGWIN. And it looks like that worked. Let's take a look at the next step. And so next, you need to use the put method to submit the upload.zip files to the web dev. And sometimes this can take a little bit, depending on how big your file is. 
and that was successful. And so finally you need to run the ETL which is extract, transform, and load task. And to do that I'm just going to go back to my browser and enter this URL. I'm going to type in the directory name that I created which is API dash test click submit and then I'm going to click the task on the screen alright there we go and so if the data load was successful the task status will display OK so now I'm going to go back to good data and refresh this and you can see that my project was uploaded today about one minute ago alright thanks for watching